think I've had enough. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week or month, should I say? It's uh, it's been a month really, and um, yeah, apologies, I've not uh, put a video up for a while. Um, <clears throat> there's quite a few reasons for that, um, and I'm going to go into it. Um, first reason is that I um, I'm getting married. Uh, I don't know if any of you all know if I've mentioned it before, but I'm getting married on the uh, the 17th of July. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of preparation uh, involved in that. I'm sure a lot of you are married and you'll know from when you planned your weddings. Um, and I just, I, my weekends are just take, taken up doing wedding stuff. So I haven't really had much time. Um, the second one was I've, um, I've, I was in Portugal for my stag do uh, f uh, over one of the weekends. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of testing. You've got to do tests before you go out there, test when you're out there, test when you get back. Um, so that was one of the reasons. And uh, the final one is that um, I'm starting to get a bit bored of this hobby, I'll be honest. Um, I've had enough. Um, I, I don't know if anyone else goes through that, the, the phase with this hobby. Let me know if you do. But... Um, I'm just finding I've just lost interest, um, and, and I'm sure that will change, and it will, you know, I'll go, you know, get back into being as excited. But over the last, like I say, four weeks or so, I've just, you know, I've not really watched any YouTube videos. I used to watch, I used to look forward to watching all the subscribers. I still watch one or two, but my interest just hasn't been there. And uh, with my tank, obviously, I was away on a stag do and you know and then that's come back and you know and, and it, it's been okay we're going to come on to the tank and we're going to go through it there's the there's more downs than there are ups um but you know i'm kind of used to that now i'll be honest but it's just got to a point now where i think i don't know if it's for all the stress of planning the wedding and that being around the corner and that it's um it, it's just got a bit much and i've um i've just lost all interest I, you know, I was at the fish shop yesterday and the last thing on my mind was to buy, you know, to even look at the fish or corals. I had no interest. only reason why I went there is because I needed water, I needed salt, I needed new test kits. I'll come on to that in a bit. But I absolutely, um, yeah, I just couldn't even bother to look around. So, um, you know, and I'll... I'm hoping it changes because, I, you know, I, 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 I've loved this hobby, but, you, you know... You, my heart's just not in it at the moment, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know, you guys know. I'm sure some of you have been in this that position before, where you've you've been in that situation where you've just lost a bit of interest. And you know, I've done, I've had it with other hobbies before. You lose interest with golf. I've done it. I've lost interest. Then you know, you start playing again. You get all excited about it. Um, so I'm hoping it. I hope I'm hoping it is just a phase, and I'll I'll come back and be all excited and. Um, and yeah, so I just thought I'd let you guys know because obviously, you know, um, I, I always do a video every single week, and um, you know, uh, yeah, that's why I haven't done it really. But there's like I say, it has been due to the wedding and stag doing things as well. But let's have a look at the tank, and um, I'll give an update. Right, so I've got an orange filter on. Um, uh, I don't know if it needs it or not, but you you might just better see it a bit clearer. So. Uh, so yeah, um, let's go over some positives first. Uh, the um, I forget what it's called now. The uh, the NPS coral that seems to be doing all right. Um, you know, it's still got all the polyps showing. Um, the gonioporas are still thriving, which is good. Um, the uh, the um, the nem seems to be doing good. The uh, the mushrooms and the zoas. I've had no issues with those. Um, the the, uh, the ham I bought recently is looking good. Um, let's now go over the negatives. Um, so negatives are, I think that one was dying on the last video anyway. Uh, my candy cane, so that needs to come out. That's gone. The favia, that's gone. Uh, my lovely toxic green hammer, as you can see that, also gone. So that's dead. And that was one of my that probably was one of my favourites. Um, so uh, 
yeah, not sure what happened there. It started looking a bit ropey and then it's it's just gone. Um, my Monty Poras, you can see, have gone as well. They're um they're on the way out. You can see where the moss and things, the uh, algae starting to grow over it now. So they uh they're both dead. I know that from from um having Montes before. Um and the one down there as well. You can see that's probably on its way out as well. So um uh so yeah that's um that's obviously the, the you know the, the the corals that have died. Um. Uh, now this little now this is the the one that's worrying me the most. This little fella here, he's not been Houdini. It's just he's just not been himself recently. Now I know we've had a lot of hot weather and the the temperatures um on the tank has risen and and trust me when it when it, it went uh went up to about twenty five and a half degrees. I'm, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but um he he really was struggling. And he is, and you can see, he really doesn't like this hot, wet temperature. They are cool water fish. Let's not forget that. We really shouldn't be putting them in our tanks uh, because they do like it quite a few degrees lower than probably the rest of the other fish. Um, but he's been all right. He's just sulking a bit. Um, he's eating still, which is which is a, which is a great sign. Um, but he just. Yeah, you can tell he doesn't like this hot weather. So it's more at the moment now, whenever we get in this hot weather, I'm doing everything I can to keep it cool. I've got the fans going, you know, great big fans on there. I've got fro I'm rotating frozen bottles of uh of water, uh, which are going in the sump and um until they defrost and I'll take it out and put another one in. That's keeping the temperature down. Uh but you know the rest of the fish are usually all right with it going up a degree or two but he really doesn't like it and um you know he, he, he at one point i thought he was on his way out um which obviously as you as you all know it's my favorite fish so i would have been devastated so um but the rest of the other fish all the other fish are looking good the mandarin he's getting fat and the the bicolor blennies there he's looking good so the, the rest of all the fish are looking good just uh Houdini's not, you know, he's just, I don't know, he's, he's not as active as he was. And he just stays there and looks like he's struggling for breath. And I don't know, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he may be fine, but he's been like that for a couple of weeks. So it's not as if uh, it's just come on, but it's, it, it is, it is purely down to the temperature. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, if we go for another heat wave, he, he, he may, he, you know, it, it, he may not make it. Just be, you know, I'm going to have to constantly be on the case, cooling this water down and making sure. Otherwise, he, um, yeah, he may, he may not see it through, which will be, I'll be devastated. Obviously, you know, you know, it's my second jaw fish, and you know, they're not cheap, and not to mention he's my favourite fish. He's, he's also the logo for the channel. Let's not forget that. So, you know, I really want to keep him. So I'll do everything I can to keep that this water. And I mean, twenty four point eight is where it usually runs at. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, the rest of the tank is looking good. I mean, we're gonna have a look at the parameters in a bit. Obviously. Um, this has been the first video for 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 four weeks so I, we can look back on previous ones but um but yeah i mean that's um that's regarding the the upstairs of the tank now downstairs um i, I haven't got the light on at the moment um and i'm using my phone but the chato is starting to die as well which isn't great um it's uh you know one thing i was you know i was even moaning it was growing too fast and like to keep harvesting it you know every week but it's actually dying back now and doesn't seem to be growing back so i'm not sure what's happening there and obviously because of that i think my my phosphates are, are higher than they they should be in the nitrates but we'll have a look at that um so basically i've got to take some of these corals out we'll have a little clean up we'll get rid of the ones that are you know dying and then um there's no need for them to be in there and then uh yeah we'll uh we'll come back i'll come back to me now and in fact do you know what let me take this off let's take the the uh thing off and we'll, we'll have a look at the um parameters whilst i've got you here let's just do that now Right, so as of today, nitrates were 20. Well, actually, I think they were 25. Oh, no, and that's not. Sorry, that's that's June. Hang on. 
I was just thinking, I thought that. Um, right, so, um, yeah, 20 of today. So, nitrates are 25. Um, pH was 8.05. Phosphate is 0 0.12, so that's got a bit high. Um, I have changed the Rora Foss. Um, I know I did put it on the last one there, but those three things I actually done today i don't know why i've written them on there um alkalinity 8.1 calcium is 500 and magnesium 1520 which is high salinity is a bit high as well um as you can imagine you know on hot days you you evaporate um the water's evaporated a lot more so it's constantly topping up um so maybe i'm not sure that what that what's caused that um so yeah i mean the parameters i mean previous weeks if we have a look um let's have a look the week before that was uh 20 you know 20 uh 8.11 for ph 0 0.08 for ph again that was on the salafert kit i'm going to come on to that in a minute uh 7.3 uh, alkalinity calcium was 450 salinity was lower so salinity's gone up a bit um however <coughs> i did get sick of those salafoot kits and i have reverted back to the red sea now so when i was at reef dreams um uh, yeah, yeah uh, yesterday i've now um i've gone back to all red sea um not you uh, the only one i'm using still is the nitrate one uh just because I don't really like the Red Sea one on its own. I think it only goes... You've got to have a range. I think it's under 4 ppm. Um, so it's no good, really, considering I'm in the 20s. I think that you have to recalculate it with, like... I don't think you'd put, like, uh, half RO, half salt water. I'm not sure. But, you know, at the moment, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the salifert. But regards to phosphate, I had to get rid of that one. I just couldn't read it. Um and uh and yeah for the others i need well i've got another red sea alkalinity another calcium red sea and another um magnesium because i'm just worried the others tests were over a year old um so that's really, really it. it's just to give you a lot you know guys a heads up you know not a heads up but just let you know how i'm feeling at the moment and um why why i haven't uploaded um and uh, you know i can't promise it'll be every week from now on like i said i've got a real busy four weeks coming up with this wedding but we'll come back to me and we'll have a chat so yeah so um yeah just thought i'd give you a heads up really about that and um i um yeah i, I hope i do i can brush it off and i hope i do get the excitement and the thrill back from the hobby because i absolutely love it and i want to start stocking this tank again but like i say your heart's not in it at the moment um and I just hope it changes uh, but I want to say a big thank you to all, all my new subscribers. Uh, thank you very much and welcome to the channel. And I apologise, you've had to wait a while for another video. And same to all my regular subscribers. Um, I will try and make more of an effort to get some more videos on. That's certainly at least once every other week at the moment. Um, so a big thank you to, to all of you for that. Um, uh yeah so big shout out to um uh to one in particular who's been asking about my video when the videos come in and that's uh gary batten aka big sexy so he's one of my best mates anyway but he watches the channel and i was with him yesterday and i started giving him a shout out so big shout out to you big sexy and um thanks for supporting the channel um uh and yeah thank you to all of you and uh thank you to all of you for being patient and um you know let's just um you know, I'm sure I'll brush this off and, you know, I'll, I'll be back uh, with some, some really cool vids. I have got some really cool vids coming up. We're, um, there's a, um, a, a, a local fish store called The Ocean Project opening um, uh, uh, not far from here, which is go, which is owned by Sean, who is the, who was the, 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 the main uh, reef keeper at uh, Reef Dreams. He's now set up his own shop. I think I did hint about it before, but you know i didn't want to go too much into that but yeah so you know i've been down there. i've seen how it looks it's going to look amazing i'm going to do we're going to do some tours of the shop 
um, and we're going to get Sean on there, you know, showing him how, how, you know, going through how it, what it was like setting up his own local fish shop. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to be involved quite a bit with that, and we're going to, we're going to do regular videos there as well as Reef Dreams. Let's not forget Reef Dreams. You know, we, you know, that was the original shop that got me into this hobby. So we're still going to be well. You know, we, you know, that the, the shop's looking great there as well. I was there yesterday. Um, they're uh, just polishing up on a few things, and then we can start doing some filming again there. Um, so we're big things planned for the channel, but like I said, it's uh, I just want to let you know I was feeling and. Uh, thank you all for your support and I shall um, see you next week if you have any questions fire them in the comments um, and yeah thanks again so much you know you know I wouldn't be in this hobby if it wasn't for you like you know for your support and I wouldn't have the channel and uh, we are on the road to 500 now so if you if you are watching hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification and we'll get to the big 500 hopefully before my wedding um so yeah take care thanks and i'll see you all next week see ya oh, what, what, what am i doing with the eyes <laughs> see you next week